Okay, so basically we are using uh, a Red Hat operating system with the Cadence tool. The steps are as follows. Right click and click on Open Terminal. First and the foremost is you need to create the directory. That is only once. The key for that is MKDIR followed by the directory name, whatever you want, you can give. So this is only once. I'm giving the directory name as ABC. Right. Next time onwards, you just need to change the directory by giving the command, command CD space, the name of your directory. Right. So next time when you open it directly, type CD uh, followed by the directory name and click enter so that the name of your directory will be reflected after this, after this slash. And the first thing is you need to type the program. The command for that is vi followed by the file name with the extension .v. So if you want to do dlatch, I think I can give it as dlatch .v. So .v is the extension for Verilog. So once I click on enter, a new window will open where you are supposed to type your program. So you cannot type it directly. First, you need to press the insert key on the keyboard and then start typing your program. Pause. Okay, now we have typed the program. So once you type the program, you have to come out of this mode. So you need to press escape key on your keyboard. Once you press escape, use the shift and colon button together. So shift colon, shift colon, then WQ followed by exclamatory mark. So this will save and come out of the program if I press enter. So that is being saved. Similarly, we are supposed to do the same thing for the test bench as well. So I'll give VI followed by same name DLATCH with the extension underscore test just to identify that it's a test bench with the extension dot V. And if I click on enter, once again, a new window will open. We need to follow the same step, press insert key and type the program. So now we have typed the test bench as well. So we need to press escape, shift colon WQ exclamatory mark once again to save and come out of this program. So this has been saved and come out. We need to do three things. One is compilation, elaboration and simulation. For the compilation, give ncv log space the file name file name is dlatch for this program so file name dot v space hyphen mess right so compilation is usually done to check the errors you should get zero errors and zero warnings for this so if at all there are any errors open your file name that is your vi dlatch dot v or whatever the file name it is and rectify the errors save it and come out then do you have to do it until you get zero errors and zero warnings now let us do the same thing ncv log for your test bench as well so that there won't be any errors in your test bench too okay in this there is an error okay it is showing dlatch underscore test first line uh, seventh part so there we need to check what is the error so what i'll do is i'll just go to this uh, vi dlatch underscore test dot v and let me check what is the error in the first line okay see uh, the thing is module dlatch underscore test that has been that has to be written so what i'll do is okay i have typed it now let me just save this so i'll press escape shift colon wq exclamatory mark okay so let me do this ncv log once again for the test bench and we are supposed to get zero errors and zero warnings like this. So compilation is done. Next step is elaboration. So you need to type NCE lab for elaboration. So here you are supposed to give the uh, module name of the test bench, right? So uh, the module name of the test bench, you can, if you don't want to open and check directly, you can see at this part, whatever is there here, the same thing you can type, right? So I'll just type it D latch underscore test and that's all so don't give file name here just give the module name of the test bench space hyphen mess click on enter so 
this is the elaboration part it will just elaborate and it will tell you uh, what is the module how many modules are used how many registers wires and all just observe this you don't have to write it so once you're done with the elaboration you just need to simulate it give the command nc sim followed by again the module name of the test bench that is the same thing what is mentioned here dlatch underscore test so i'll just type the same thing dlatch underscore test so no mess for this directly ncsim followed by the module name of the test bench and it will do the simulation part so once it is done you will get the statements like this these are the non gui outputs you need to note it down so this is just like verifying your truth table so at time is 0 nanoseconds what is d what is enable what is reset what is q and q bar so if you do know the dlatch the output follows the input and always q is complement of the q bar so what happens when reset is 1 what happens when reset is 0 provided uh, when enable is 1 enable is 0 so the different conditions it will just check and this is the correct output for the dlatch program you need to note down the dlatch program a uh, note down these uh, inputs that is your non gui inputs after this you need to do something called as nc launch for your gui part type the command nc nc launch and click on enter a new window will open like this right so basically you should have the path home slash digital just by chance if some other uh thing is there after digital so it means that some uh, some other directory has been selected you just need to click on the drop down menu and just select this home slash digital so that you can continue from here uh, and one more important thing is we are just worried about the work clip and snapshots and nothing else with this so if you click on the uh expand this lot of things uh, which has been executed will come we we, are, uh, we don't want this right click and click on delete contents don't click on delete a reference so it will be gone so whatever the work which was executed previously will go now let us select the particular directory uh, i think i gave the directory name as abc so i will this is my directory which i have given i will just expand this and you can see the files which have been executed which is the dlatch.p that is the file name .p file name underscore test .p so even here you need to compile elaborate and simulate so let us select the main module and there is an icon on the top which is called as a compiler icon click on the compiler icon it will be compiled and it will come and sit in this worklib part next select the test bench file click on the compiler icon again that will also be compiled and it will come here now for elaboration and simulation we just need the test bench and we don't need the main module so we will click on the test bench part here and you need to elaborate this is your elaborator icon next to the compiler icon click on this this will be elaborated so in while doing the compilation part or elaboration part if there is any errors it will be displayed here just have a look right so once the elaboration is done it will come and sit under the snapshots select this and you need to do the simulation this is your simulator icon click on the simulator icon a new simulator window will open so two windows will open this window is not required we will close this window only the sim vision window is all we need select on this particular name name of your, name of your file and you need to click on the waveform icon on the top if you click on this you will get the new window where all the inputs and outputs will be displayed and if you click on the run button you will get the waveform and just verify the waveform according to the truth table so as per the logic q follows the d uh, provided that the enable and the reset is high or low depending on what you write so just verify the truth table note down the waveforms one more thing is go to the target schematic tracer icon on top click on this this tracer icon window will open double click on this so that you'll get to know what is the design you have to note down this design so you can also check what is there inside this d latch if you double click on this the design under this d latch will also be shown like this right you can just check it you can scroll down the mouse button and uh, get get back the actual design like this you can note down this much so till here you are supposed to do the simulation 
part